hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering in this video you will learn that how to find the rate of seepage in a soil through a permeable layer okay i have been given a question which states that a permeable soil layer is underlain by an impervious layer as shown in the figure below okay with k which is the coefficient of permeability equals 6 into 10 is power minus 5 meter per second for the permeable layer we have to calculate the rate of seepage uh, through the permeable uh, layer in meter cube per hour per meter width okay if uh, h is equal to 5 meter and this angle of inclination alpha is equal to 10 uh, 10 degrees okay you can uh, see the figure for this problem okay so uh, this is the groundwater table here which is shown by the gray color okay and uh, below it is a permeable layer okay and uh, uh, below that is an impervious layer okay we have to find the uh, rate of the seepage uh, through this permeable layer okay angle of inclination is alpha okay so first uh, uh, we will uh, draw a, a, a figure for this uh, problem that is fpd for this problem angle of inclination it's uh, given as 10 degree okay so the length of the soil layer it's given uh, equal to l so head loss if you uh, consider this uh, triangle alpha is equal to 10 degrees so head loss that is this much distance or this much distance it will be equal to l tan of alpha okay and uh, length of flow that is the inclined length of flow okay length through which uh, this uh, uh, flow is occurring it is equal to l divided by cos of alpha it is equal to hypotenuse of this triangle which is equal to l divided by cos of alpha okay coefficient of permeability is given as 6 into 10 is power minus 5 meter per second uh, hydraulic gradient it is the ratio of head loss divided by the length of flow so head loss uh, and this length is l tan of alpha and the inclined length of flow is L divided by cos of alpha. So hydraulic gradient will be equal to sine of alpha. Uh, value of alpha is 10. So it is equal to sine of 10. Okay. After finding the hydraulic gradient, you can now calculate the rate of seepage through this uh, permeable layer. So rate of seepage, uh, it is given as K into I into A, where K is the coefficient of permeability, I is the hydraulic gradient, and A is the area of cross section. Okay. So K is given as 6 into 10 is power minus 5 meter per second. Uh, hydraulic gradient, we just calculated it in the previous step as sine of 10. Uh, Cross-sectional area is, okay, so depth is equal to 5 uh, cos of alpha, okay. Depth is equal to 5 cos, uh, cos of alpha and the value of uh, alpha is 10, okay. And uh, we have to calculate it for the unit width, so... Uh, taking width equal to 1 so this gives me the uh, rate of seepage equal to 5.13 into 10 raised power minus 5 meter cube per second per meter but in the question we have been asked to calculate it in the units of meter cube per hour per meter so we have to multiply this by th uh, 3600 okay so it will be 5.13 into 10 raised power minus 5 into 3600 meter cube per hour per meter which is equal to 0 0.1847 meter cube per hour per meter okay so this is how uh, you can calculate the rate of seepage uh, through a permeable layer you just have to find the head loss between the two points okay and the length of flow which will give you the hydraulic gradient and there after you can apply the Darcy's uh, formula to find the rate of seepage okay I hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box below okay I will try my best to answer your doubts thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned